Welcome guys to my latest video for auto drive and course play. In this episode we'll be showing you how to use the bailing option in course play. So let's get started. Uh, again, just like the previous episode I did for loading wagons, I'll be starting with the windrow. So let's just make a course. Just like I did last time. So let's left click on field one so we bring it up in our field edge path. I want to choose where the location will be on the map. I want to make it a round headland. I'm going to do four passes clockwise. I might try this time zero overlap. Uh, I'll do 2%. Try that one. And multiple tools one. It's got the working width all sorted for us. Don't need to bypass islands. Pick it about there after field one waypoint. Let's generate the field course. That's right, let's change that. Handling corners, let's make that a turn instead of smooth, I reckon. Let's make that turn and I'll just flick the thing. Try that one. So you'll see these will slightly change in the corners just through here. There you go, so it's a bit straighter now that that's done that. That looks pretty sweet. So let's go back. Let's save it as field one bailing okay cool so this is all set up so if we go drive course at first waypoint on the course play control this is pretty much all set up to go got the waypoint selected to field one I'm going to hit course play so it should start it when it gets going there we go alright so we can actually use that course as well for a baler. Now, I'd recommend normally using square bales because it just find it works a lot better, but in this video I am going to have a go with the old round baler and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't let us down. I've just found that uh, the square bales, it normally works better in the past, so, but hey ho, let's give it a whirl. And let's just load up our baling course, oh, looks like. Yeah, that should be all right. Top one. First waypoint. Yeah, I just want that to drive to our waypoint. Oh, that is wanting to take go the wrong way. Cool. So let's just see how these guys get on and then. Uh, We'll start the uh, loading preparations. Of course, that's working nicely with Winrar there. I'm hoping. And our round baler is just going to line up perfectly behind and just start making uh, some bales for us. And there she goes. So that's going to just continue the whole way around our course, making bales nice and easy. Now, a good tip is to actually have the baler uh, actually start from the inside, just so that it does the headlands last, but uh, just because I'm making a video on this, I'm trying to do it a little bit quicker. So as you can see down there, the time's going to take about an hour and a half, so I'm going to leave this running while I go do some other things, and you'll join me back to actually do the pick and collection of the bales and taking them to a point. So it will take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to let it run. And we'll see how she goes. So uh, that's part one, and uh, you'll join me back for part two. So bear with us, and we'll get on to it. I'll see you in a second.
Alright guys, you join me for the final part of our tutorial for baling. So, uh, in this part I'll be showing you how to actually get the tractors to go and collect the bales with an auto-loading trailer. Now, uh, to begin with, you're going to want to open up Courseplay Control. You're going to want to have your collect or wrap bales. And we're now going to want to generate a course. So, all you're going to want to do is just find a nice area alongside your field let's go about there I reckon that should be quite good and we're going to start course recording okay now I've actually got a bale storage shed up and running so I'll show you that we're just going to pull down this road we're just going to try and line up as straight as possible Now, with most um, sort of drop-off points, and this is more for auto-loading trailers, activate your unload point before you actually get there. So what this will do for an auto-loading trailer is it will dislodge all your bales. So you need to make sure you're very, very straight and don't have a corner because they're all going to fly out everywhere. And now, as you drive through the unload point, they'll actually get auto picked up. And this works for sale points as well. However, if you've got one of the more traditional in-game bail pickup tools, you can do a few different tricks with them, which I may do in a later episode, because you can actually just get them to stack into a open uh, area using weight points which is pretty snazzy, but I'm just trying to keep it really simple. And it's one of most people these days have auto loading trailers. So now bring up the end of your course as close as you can to your start point. And there we go. So nice and even. We're actually going to set drive course and there's a new mode called collect or wrap bowels. So I want to start it on that one. Now, auto drive, I have so far not been able to get auto drive in the bailing of course play to work together. So I'm just showing you a course play way of doing it at the moment. If anyone knows how to get auto drive to interact with the bailing, let me know so I can make a video on it because to be honest, I'd love to know how to do that if it will work. Now, we just want to save this course. So I'm just going to put uh, bailing, let's go just bailing drop off, so nice and easy, save it. And now when we hit drive course, he's going to just start picking up bales. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of bales to collect. So, I have got another tractor as well, so I'll get him ready to go. Bailing drop off, and again, just get it so he just goes and starts collecting. A uh, last thing is make sure you got it on the right field. So, because I've got it on field one, they're going to go hunt field one for as many bales as possible. And there you have it. So they're going to start collecting. We're going to jump on board with our other trailer that doesn't carry anywhere near as many bales because this guy will probably take a little while. As you can see, they'll just drive up next to the bales for us, and the auto loader will just collect them. Now the in-game ones will still work, they'll just pick them up and you can use them as well to do a route just like I've done here but most of them lift up quite high and on the shed I've got there they actually end up hitting the shed and flipping the trailer and flipping the tractor and all sorts of horrible things happen so you generally need a bit more open top shed if you want to do that or one without a shed. And like I said with the non auto load ones you can actually get some of the square bar ones to make stacks so i might do a video in the future showing you how to do that if anyone's interested so you can see they're just going to keep going along picking up as many bales as possible Cool. So once they've picked up all bows, they're going to return to the start point for us.
There you go. So you're going to see it's just going to hit that start waypoint and begin the course that we've set. So once he hits this, he's now in his road course. You see his top speed's gone up from 10 to like 40 something. There you go, 43. Oh, cranked it all the way up. So you can see we've got the unload point ahead. So if you look at the bottom right there where it's got 14 round barrels loaded up, that should, if it all works nicely, hit zero because he's actually going to unload the barrels. But because it's an auto load trailer, that's just going to make him loose. So that's why you need to do a straight piece to drop him off. So you go, he's going to hit the unload. So there you go, so he's unloaded them now. So you see they're now loose. So that's why you need it to be nice and straight. And he should drive through the pickup for us now. There you go, look. Perfect. So you need to make sure it's nice and straight if you do it this way, because if there's any turns after he unloads, they're just gonna fly everywhere and you're gonna be very annoyed with yourself. Luckily though, with auto trailers, it makes it extremely easy to pick them all up again. But if you are setting out a farm, make sure where you're wanting to store your bales, you've got a little bit of a run up area. So you've just got a bit of room around it so you can be nice and straight. And that's literally all there is to it guys. He's just going to hit the stop point and then he's going to start collecting bales all over again. And he will do the entire field. So um, because this field's absolutely massive, I have obviously got the other fella working away as well. You will notice sometimes on these massive fields that they may get a little bit lost and won't pick up some of the very edge bales. Or if any bale has been pushed off the field, they won't collect it because it's not in their field point. So. As you can see, it's just going to go back to work. And you can see our other bigger bale collectors working nicely as well. So that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Hope you found this useful. And I um, hope to see a few of you guys using it as well. So again, if anyone wants to ask any questions or again knows how to do it with auto drive i'd be really interested to know so i can do a video on using auto drive with the bailing course that'd be pretty cool um but if not hopefully this guy's uh answers some questions and helps you do the bailing courses with course play so i'll uh, let you guys go and have a wonderful evening morning midday have a good one guys catch ya